Maybe some of you have read stories about birch bark canoes and you wondered, how did they get to make the birch bark canoes? Well, here is a birch. Now this is a yellow birch, not a white birch, but it's a yellow birch. And the thing that makes birches what they are is this peeling bark. You notice that this bark is peeling off of this one. And as it peels off, you can see how they can make, they could take this and it's like paper and they could glue it on using pine tar to make bark out of it. You can also use the sap and you can make a tasty drink out of it. Maybe somebody's ever, maybe somebody's ever had birch beer, kind of like root beer, except for it's made from the birch tree. Um, so that's a, this is a yellow birch. Later on, we'll show you about the leaves. If I walk over here, look at the different bark here. This bark is from a maple, probably a sugar maple. The sugar maple bark, you notice it's kind of got ridges and it's rough. Compare that to the one we've already seen. Look at this one. Maybe you can tell me before I say, what is this tree? Nice and smooth bark. Of course, as you should remember, it's the beech tree. The beech tree has a nice smooth bark here. And you can tell those. And then we're going to walk over here. There's one more type. Um, notice this bark. This bark is kind of pebbly and peppery. It's kind of got pieces. That's going on. This bark comes from this bark comes from a spruce tree. So these are the spruce trees that are around here. Very valuable. You may have noticed that our cabin is is uh, sided with the bark of the spruce tree. And if I can look, I can see there's one more. There's one more tree that we will um, talk about later. It's called the hemlock tree, and it's similar. And I'll be able to compare those two in another video.